so friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so today we are going to see how the uh, event monitoring app looks like in our sandbox so as you see here I'm in my Einstein analytics studio I have these uh, pre-built dashboards uh, enabled so friends if you have uh, event monitoring app if you want to have if you want to enable this event monitoring app in your local sandbox then what I would recommend you to do is basically uh, uh, like in this permission set event monitoring analytics so I have this event man monitoring analytics admin permission set assigned to my user so once you have that uh, permission set then uh, and once you have that data flow uh, so then you should be able to uh, get this uh, these dashboards so basically what you need to do is create and go to create an app and as you see here there are a lot of recommended templates like one is design style guide one is sales analytics service analytics appointment analytics approval analytics b2b commerce analytics so the thing which i have used here is the event monitoring analytics app so basically we create we select it we click on continue and then we need to uh, i mean it just mentions like what this app does in the salesforce uh, org now as you see here i already have uh, app here so you can create if you are creating a new one so then you have to create this new brand new app but as you are uh, I have already set up this uh, app so you um, you is this is basically for for my local sandbox and uh, you basically mention your execution data set uh, so I have set up like execution data for 30 days and uh, I do have a FX unexpected data set set so all I have kept all these uh, things as uh, by default and uh, then you you go ahead and then you I have also asked to include the login data set and um, how many days of login as data I want to store at seven days so how many days of report to store in seven days yeah how many uh, days of report export data do you want to store in analytics i kept seven days and then how many days of rest api data you want to store i said seven and uh, how many for rest api data set i include rest api data set i said yes so uh, basically i uh, i just kept on with the default set i gave the name and then once you give the name and uh, uh, then you get this type of pre-built dashboards so uh, so if i see here like if i go here and so let me go to dashboards so here you will see like all these uh, event monitoring uh, app uh, dashboards at your <coughs> fingertips and uh, here you see like dashboard logins lightning performance analytics adoption lightning adoption visual code requests uh, rest apis report downloads reports page views so let us see if i click any any of this dashboard and see what uh, what i see here is basically right now total i have one total test test class right now friends so yeah bear in mind uh, this is a uh, pretty pretty new sandbox and uh, so I, I haven't yet uh, ran any uh, huge amount of epic queries or uh, triggers in here so that is the reason you see like um, uh, like the, uh, the only one apex class has been executed and uh, Basically, it shows the Apex class performance from the Apex Apex execution event data. So, with I mean, with this you can get like a you can get this dashboard to basically improve the performance and load type of the uh, custom parts of the app. So, yeah. So I have selected here. Uh, okay. Let us look for some any other. Um, any other app 
like if I go to page views URIs so as I am the only user for this uh, for this map so uh, it shows I mean for this org it, it shows only my uh, only one user and also let us see uh, we do we have something for lightning performance as well so so right now it's showing one error in this uh, in my lightning performance uh, which I have which I have no idea right now but very soon I'll be able to know that and uh, what else uh, these are the data sets uh, I have and uh, these are all the data sets I have like APEX aggregation with users, dashboard with users, login with users, these are all pre-built, uh, these are all pre-built users uh, my friends so yeah so this is uh, one of the uh, one of the feature of uh, Einstein and Einstein Analytics Studio. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and uh, do drop me a like, comment, or subscribe uh, of this video. Thank you, friends. Have a good day. Stay safe.